Hi, my name is Martina Pagliuca. I am a medical oncologist and researcher uh, in Gustave Roussy, France. And this year at ASCO 2024 annual meeting, we are presenting our analysis um, focused on um, behavioral symptoms after breast cancer. Um, we especially focus on symptoms such as insomnia, um, anxiety, depression, uh, cognitive impairment, and fatigue. And our analysis is carried out in the Canto Court. Um, the Canto study is a multicenter longitudinal court study uh, which enrolled more than uh, 11,000 patients from 2012 to 2018, um, collecting data longi longi longitudinally uh, during this um, time period. Uh, and we focused on the um, trajectory, so evolving pattern of behavioral symptoms after early stage breast cancer, and we identified six different uh, evolving pattern of um, behavioral symptoms burden, uh, starting from a group of patients with very low um, burden of symptoms and two different groups with high and very high burden of um, behavioral symptoms. Uh, but then interestingly, we also found that uh, approximately 13% of our cohort of patients had a, um, an important and sharp um, deterioration of behavioral symptom burden um, after the first year uh, following diagnosis. So the, the period the, that we know includes uh, surgery and chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Um, then we also identified uh, approximately 6% of um, patients that has um, long term deterioration of symptoms. Uh, starting from year four after diagnosis of breast cancer and a, um, a group with the improvement of symptoms. Interestingly, in this group of patients, the most prevalent symptoms at the diagnosis was anxiety. Uh, and then we performed a, um, a logistic regression to find out factors associated with this group of patients. And in the early onset uh, group, so the patient that has this um, deterioration of um, behavioral symptoms bar then after uh, diagnosis of breast cancer, um, we saw that actually uh, patients that are more likely to um, be member of this group are younger patients, less wealthy, with an higher BMI, and that received endocrine and um, chemotherapy, uh, and with um, previously reported uh, psychiatric disorder. Um, so, our analysis was carried out actually to try to um, have some um, characteristics of the population that could help us to inform um, our clinical practice and since the moment of diagnosis of breast cancer, try to um, also offer a personalized medicine in the um, context of supportive care and not only the treatment for breast cancer. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.